Carter's life. Everything is being destroyed. I don't know what's happening or what kind of karma I'm in right now, but you guys know the team of our house got destroyed with the trampoline tower and uh, you know, a lot of bad luck with the Countach. And unfortunately, again, it got destroyed. And if you guys don't know about the Countach, this is it. It's one of my dream cars. I've had it for a while and it has been nothing but problems, guys. This car has been destroyed many times. The first of which is when Matt was driving it and accidentally smashed it into a tree and caused tens of thousands of dollars of damage. It took a long time and a lot of money, but we got it fixed. After that, I went to go pick it up in the very first day of me picking up, it almost caught on fire. I was stuck in the middle of traffic. Everything was smoking. I barely got this thing home in one piece, but I did and we fixed it yet again. And now that I got this Lamborghini home, it is time to ship it off to the new Team Roar house where it can finally live the rest of its life. The transporter is here to pick up the car and this is what happened. <laughs> So Carter's gone and we're gonna steal this car <laughs> and crash it again. Yeah. But who knows how to drive this thing? Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god. Um I can try. Oh boy. Wait, in it. <laughs> oh, it's <was> Josh. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get here? <laughs> Hold on, it's gonna hit. Slow. It's gonna hit. No, it's no, you're good. No. Oh my god, that's you're so good. scary. No way. Yeah. What? What? Yeah, you're good. No. It's literally like a centimeter. What? <laughs> Did that just happen? Was that real life? How is that possible? No. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you doing up there? I'm reminiscing last time we're up here before it comes down. That's right, guys. We're moving out, which means we literally have to move everything. I've already said that. Sometimes the easiest way to clean up is to tear things down. And we have this massive Lego hotel that Bailey has been building for yeah. like for weeks. We were building this thing. Yeah, it's done. It's been done for a long time, and now there's nothing else to build. Nothing else to build, but a lot to tear down. So we are going to get started, and we're going to have some fun. So after 10 minutes, he got the key out. That literally took Andrew 10 minutes to take the key out of the car. <laughs> it was like literally 10 Should seconds. We call Carter and tell him that something happened to it. Should we call him right now? Because he's not here. Oh, the bumper fell off. And Carter, it scraped really bad. The whole like, thing just fell off. So Josh like was so sure it was going to clear and just like went for it. Josh just floored it out of the driveway. No, Slammed into Ethan's car. <laughs> yeah. Be like, it got stuck in gear. Like, it just kept going. Right. <laughs> it should be like Matt, like, jumped in front, trying to push it back. Try it. All right, Carter, batter up. You're up first. <laughs> oh, it breaks my heart. Let's give it a little test. I don't think this is gonna. That's really That's strong. Hard. Just swing it hard. Go. Maybe this yellow one will come right through. Oh. Carter, you only have 10 seconds. What if this thing falls down on me? Yeah, you have less than 10. Hurry. I think you gotta be on the other side. Go, go. Get it. Oh. Come on. Come on. One more. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it? In 10 seconds, that's all the damage he did. What do you mean? I'm gonna hit this thing, it's gonna fall down. I'm going up there right now. Guys, my turn now, and I got a better idea to knock it down. Okay. <laughs> So, um, Josh couldn't make it, so we just tried to roll the Countach down the driveway and it like literally scraped the bottom of the front because it wouldn't really start and Josh wasn't able to make it in time for the tow truck. Bumper's like gone. Okay. Andrew, Andrew just said the bumper, the bumper is not gone, it's just really scraped up. What do you, what do you mean? Why would the bumper be gone? He's exaggerating. The bottom got scraped. The bumper is not gone. Andrew, don't scare him like that. The bottom you is just... Send a photo? Yeah. We'll send a photo. All right, Carter. Uh, watch this. Watch this. The sledgehammer is over there, Bailey. What are you doing? What is? What could he be doing? Like, is it, like, did you get it through or is it sitting on the driveway? It's like stuff? hanging on. It's like... It's in the road now, <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what the piece is called. What is that part called? So you guys broke it, is what you're saying? It's not that bad. It's just scraped, so I think it has to go back to Josh's shop. <laughs> so bad. What is, I don't understand. You rolled it down the driveway with speed, and you hit the truck. No, no, it wasn't with speed. It wouldn't start, so Andrew had the great idea to just roll it down the driveway. Well, why wouldn't it start? Why wouldn't it start, Andrew? I couldn't uh, turn the key. He literally took 10 minutes trying to get the key out of it, first of all. 
Well, they just give me a call. I mean, it, it definitely starts. You can turn the key, you know, and it starts. There might be a thing you have to push or something. Yo, Bailey, where are you? You're running out of time. You only have 10 seconds left. Wait, are you pushing? My time starts when I say now. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I guess. What are you doing? Watch out, Carter. What do you mean, watch out? What are you doing up there? The sledgehammer is here. How are you gonna destroy it up there? Oh, 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 stand back! Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! No, he literally couldn't get the key out either. But we're handling it, but I just wanted to let you know. Well, I don't understand how you guys damaged it. <laughs> Right, Everything's really fine, okay, anymore. we're done. Literally yeah, nothing I mean, is wrong. Just Elena, messing with Elena you. had the brilliant idea of calling you and telling you we messed it up. It's fine, nothing happened at all. <laughs> he believes it! <laughs> yeah. Sweat out here, these guys. Are, uh, <laughs> yes. I, I could tell from your voice, I was like, yeah, no, this isn't a funny prank anymore. He actually believes it. They were like, he's <laughs> he not gonna believe believed. it, whatever. Okay, so anyways, yeah. real update it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. They were like, they're not gonna believe you if you try to prank them for a bit. I was like, what? Should they believe me? Yeah. Anyways, yeah, everything's fine. So the tow truck will be here in an hour and Josh will load it onto the truck. Yeah, I'm like sweating right now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, guys, that was insane. I'm literally on my way to Palm Springs for a birthday party and I get the call and Elena was literally telling me that the car broke or they got it smashed. It has to go back to the shop. I was literally sweating. And it was not funny to me at all because this car is literally cursed. It's always getting wrecked and destroyed. And so I believed it 100%. Yo, that was crazy. Yes. Yes. I can't believe that word. Oh my gosh. This thing got completely wrecked. Wait, that was way more damage than the one little brick that I caused right there. That was barely any damage. Andrew, it's your turn now. Go, Andrew, go. You're running out of time, Andrew, go. Oh. Oh my gosh! Oh, this poor Legos! <laughs> oh. So the Kuntosh is getting picked up. I'm not sure about this one. The tow truck is in the middle of a main road, and I'm not even sure if the And it's can, rush hour. It's rush hour in Los Angeles. I'm not even sure the car can make it that far. Oh boy. This is a sketchy way to turn out. Oh my god! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Why is it so oh, He's stopped in the middle. Is this crazy? Yeah. Oh, we got a ball pit ball. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's like a mile from the house. I'll pick it up, don't worry. I got it. This is actually, we're in the middle of a highway, practically. This is sketchy. What is going on? I feel like I barely did anything. I made like a couple little holes. No, bro, you, that's some damage done. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, on to the next person. That's, that's, a, that's a medieval that's a, that's a, anchor. That's an anchor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back up. I'm gonna start swinging. Oh my god. All right, 10 uh, seconds on the board and three. Oh, jeez. Oh, yo, that's so sketchy. Oh! Oh, that's so high. Oh my gosh, that's really effective. Yo, what? Right, I'm going back to the sledge. I'm seeing how it works now. I got this. Back to the sledge? Yes, sir. The sledge is the weakest one. That's what you think. All right, 10 seconds in three, two, one, go! Oh! Oh! Yes. Oh! He's getting it! He's got the technique down. Oh, he's taking out the corners. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. That corner. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I turned it sideways. He started pushing the wall in. So the Countach right there has to go into the truck. It's literally Friday night rush hour. What are we supposed to do? So they're measuring the car because they say it's not going to fit. We're literally in the middle of the highway measuring with a tape measure on the road how long this car is. So they're climbing inside the trailer right now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It looks fun. I want to do that. It does kind of look fun. Not gonna lie. But at the same time, they're doing it in traffic. In one of the I'm literally the busiest roads. road in LA. Oh, yeah. They're literally measuring the car right now to see if it's gonna fit into this giant trailer. Guys, there's so much room in there. It's gotta fit. All right, you ready? Yep. Batter up in three, two, one, go. Eight, seven. Oh, hold up. Oh. Oh, he's going for the push again. Whoa! Oh, is it going sideways? 
So the truck, the truck is transforming right now. <laughs> and the nightmare continues. I thought everything was good with the Countach. It was all loaded up and it was on its way to the Timur house. But upon arrival, it arrived super late at night. Matt was there to take the delivery and pulling it off the truck. He found out that the car got destroyed again. I don't know how it's possible. I don't know what is going on, but I got text really late and Matt was saying that the car is not running right. It's smoking really bad and the wheel is broken. The control arm broke and snapped and the wheel almost fell off. It took him about an hour just to take the car off the truck and stick it in the garage where it could be safe and sound. And as soon as he pulled it in the garage, he turned around and the truck transporter booked it out of there. Probably because he knows that he wrecked this car by accident in it. It didn't want to pay for it and now I'm stuck with a Countach that is broken yet again. Guys, I haven't even driven it one mile since I put tens and tens of thousands of dollars into this thing. I don't know like what to do. This thing is crazy. It's one of the most difficult cars to work on. It's so expensive and it's always broken and I don't know why. Anyways guys, this episode is all about destruction and I'm watching over my back because I'm afraid something else is going to get destroyed.